Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. Tonight, I have a special guest, as always. I'm going to read their bio, get them introduced, and start this conversation. Tonight, my guest goes by the name of TG. He currently resides in Michigan, works in IT, and in his free time, loves to listen to music and watch shows while enjoying a hookah. TG has been streaming for a year and hopes to continue to bring enjoyable content while playing games. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, the one, the only, TG. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. No problem at all, man. I'm glad we can. I feel honored. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't know why everybody keeps telling me that Like people are nervous. They're like, oh, I don't want to be in a podcast. I'm like, yo. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and jump into this because I read so I'm reading your bio and it said you've only been streaming for a year. Yeah, I need to I need to update that. I, oh, OK, bad. OK, OK. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I've been streaming for three years, bro. If you were streaming for a year, I was like, how? Because it, it looks like you've been doing. All right, bet. Cool. Three years. Yeah, three so, years. All right, man. What's the origin story? How did you get started in, in streaming? Um, well, it, it all started with my, my younger brother. He's always been a PC gamer. Mm -hmm. And every time a gen, a new generation of consoles come out, he always asks, are you ready to come over to PC? So right before the PS5 and the Xbox Series X uh, got announced, mm -hmm. uh, I told him the next time the consoles get upgraded, I get a PC. Yeah. And when they announced the PS5, my brother called me like that same day. He like, oh, they just Dang. announced the PS5. So... <laughs> You get in the PC and I, I had to be a man of my word. And I was like, yes, yes I built I build my game in PC All and right. during, the, <laughs> during the process of building it. I was just like, man, this this thing is pretty powerful. It'll, it'll be a shame to just game on it. Mm -hmm. And I've never watched streams before. I, my brother has I, I, yeah. I heard about it, but I never I never even logged into Twitch before. Wow. And I had uh, called my, my brother and I was like, what do you think? Do you think I should game and stream? And my brother was like, I got so excited. He's like, oh my goodness. He's like, you'd be so awesome. You'd be so awesome at streaming. Mm -hmm. And so that was, that what got the ball rolling. I was like, all right, let me make me a Twitch account. Well, I already had a Twitch account. I just had to change the name, the name of it. Cause when you, when you have an Xbox, when you have an Xbox one, it, it had Twitch on there. So gotcha. you had to make an account. So it was like, was part of the Xbox One interface, so you had to make wow. an account. Okay, that was that was all the Twitch knowledge I knew. <laughs> that is wild, yo! Shout out to your little brother for seeing greatness when he when it was in front of him and getting you to do it. That's that's crazy. That's how this started. Wow, I would have yeah. never get it. <laughs> Uh, well, with that, TG, I know I know what it stands for, but let's let the listeners. What does it stand for, and how did you come up with that name? Yeah, uh, TG stands for Terrible Gaming uh, on Twitch. I'm Terrible Gaming One Two Three. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the reason I came up uh, came up with that name was because when I first started streaming, I was streaming uh, Dark Souls Two. Uh, it was one of the only games that I was very familiar with, so I thought it would calm my nerves while I'm streaming. And I didn't want people to think like when they came in there, I'll be the best Dark Souls player they ever saw. Yeah. So, so I'm just calling myself terrible gaming. So if they come in here and say, you're terrible at this. I'm like, well, you're being very redundant right now. <laughs> did you not see the name? Right. <laughs> I told you right up front. This is on you. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah. So that's how, that's how I started with the name. That's dope. That That makes so much sense. What the fuck? Speaking of which, I know we. this is kind of not in intro but i'm gonna ask because it's my podcast mm -hmm. uh you put out a series i don't know if you're still doing them but you, the very first video i saw you do on youtube and it probably blew up but it was the <laughs> you're giving terrible advice yes oh my fucking god <laughs> i uh, uh, two questions yeah. one did anybody ever think that you, you were for real and two how the hell did you come up with that so definitely people thought thought i was for real which i would I didn't understand how because I'm like the sarcasm in my voice was so thick. Right? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a hit dog gonna holler. Exactly. But I came, I came up with the idea because I was, I was streaming one day and just shoot, shooting the shit with the community. Right. And they was like giving terrible takes, and they was like, "You should, you should just give some terrible advice." 
<laughs> and and I was like, that's actually a good idea. So I did I did a terrible advice video. I put it on YouTube, and it it did nothing. I think I got maybe twenty views on it. Oh wow, okay. And then I was like, I was like, damn, I guess this wasn't really a good idea. And then I was like, can you post videos on Twitter? Because for <laughs> for me, like I wasn't a social media person, right? I was, right. you know, I. I didn't have all the accounts that I have now. I created it when I created my Twitch account. Right. Right. So I, I wasn't like a, a social media person. So I didn't really know how to work any of this stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm going to put it on Twitter and see what to do on Twitter. And as soon as I put it on Twitter, it it just went viral. And yeah, and I know you asked, do I still do them? Mm-hmm. Very, very sparingly now. Gotcha. Uh, because with streamer Twitter, they complain about the same things over and over and over again. Yes. So, I mean, I've made one about views, made one about subs, made one about self promotion, made one about titty streamers, right? So, mm-hmm. like, I think I touched on all the things streamer Twitter talk about, and they still to this day have not came up with a new. <laughs> A new topic, so yeah. like, you know, I don't want to be redundant and just be putting out content just to be putting it out. Right. I want, I want it to be if if they see a terrible advice drop, they know, oh, this shit about to be funny. <laughs> exactly. Okay. No, I I appreciate that and respect it because, like you said, our streamer Twitter just they they're in a vacuum, and every three or four years they come up with the same shit, complaining mm. and complaining, and it's wild to watch it. And like this is probably my second or third cycle of it. I'm like, oh. It really is just a cycle. The yep. newbies coming in and complaining about this shit, and it hasn't changed. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. That's that's good. Good to know. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and roll right into what you're creating now. Uh, this is the current mindset section where I ask my guests, how are your thoughts on your current content? You got any goals that you're pushing towards? What's the mindset piece like for you right now? This, an- this answer going to be a little lengthy. <laughs> oh, hit me. I love lit. Yes. Let's, I cannot wait. Let's go. So I have two partnered YouTube channels. Mm. So I have the Terrible Gaming channel. Mm-hmm. Which I worked really hard to get the partner on and I got it. And it's in the day that I got YouTube partner, I realized I really don't like making gaming content. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you were talking to like 17 people right one is me so continue yes so I, and i had to be honest with myself i was like i really like the journey to get the partner was enjoyable because i was cause i was doing something i never did before i was sitting down in my computer playing a game and editing every single night to get the content i was uploading like mm. three or four times a week and being very very consistent and the channel had had just grown to epic numbers but as soon as as soon as i got that email saying you're a youtube partner i was like i really not i'm really not enjoying oh <laughs> man that's that's wild but right? i'm glad you recognize that though yeah and I, i'm and, I, and to this day i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do with that channel mm-hmm. because it's like i do like games i, I just don't care to, to make content around it i just i like gaming to just game Right, you know, because I, I, you know, to be sitting, be sitting down and be like, I mean, I want to play this game. Oh well, let me wait till I can re- actually record. I was mm-hmm. when, I, when I said that, I was like, yeah, this, this not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need, I want a game at any time and just game to be gaming. Exactly. Um. So what I did was I created a second channel, which is called Terrible Reactions, where mm-hmm. it, it's, it's just it's just a reaction channel, and you know, which you you can't monetize really because you're reacting to copyrighted content right but you know i was like well what the plan is going to be is to react and always be reacting to something trendy Mm -hmm. just to get my my internet footprint bigger god that's smart holy shit okay right so and it's funny too because people will comment and be like how are you monetizing because you know they they see the setup when they come when they click on a video and they be like the setup looks amazing so they be like how are you monetizing this channel i'm not yeah, I'm, not, I'm a streamer, bitch. This is, right. I'm just doing this. You got God. I'm not. But thank you for the view and thank you for your sub. Exactly. <laughs> because, if, you know, and I've already got like emails for that channel like, hey, you know, we want to sponsor a video. We want to, you know, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we want to work uh, with you or something. Yeah. Or like a brand stuff. deal or something. Yeah, like a brand deals and stuff like that. And, and that's how reactors make money on YouTube. They don't make right. it from the the ad revenue 
that goes. I did not realize that. <laughs> yeah, that, that goes straight to the artist, which I'm fine with. Like, th- right. they made the content; they can get the money. This, I'm just, oh, I'm just reacting so my face can be more known on the internet. Mm-hmm. I like right? that. I like that. So, and that has been amazing. I actually enjoy doing react reactions, right? Okay, yeah. And people come in and they be like, oh, man, we love when you're dancing and you're giving feedback on or whatever you're reacting to. It look like you're having a great time, which I am. Yeah. And, and, I, and I know I'm not going to make a red cent from YouTube from doing this, but <laughs> I've got that to partner in, in almost less than two months. What? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> If I had an air horn, I'd be playing that motherfucker <laughs> right now. That is awesome. Yeah. So it's I, I haven't posted on there in two months. I took a little holiday break. Yeah. Actually, actually, the next video uploads in like ten minutes. Right. <laughs> so, That's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, but it it, it was still it has still been growing even when I haven't been posting. Right. So I was like, you know what? Like, what? I got I got twenty more subs this week. You know, I can take another week off. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's what I that's see, that's what I want to get to. Like get let's get something that grows even while you I'm taking I'm gonna chill this week. Yeah. And just let it do its thing. That's amazing. Yeah. So in which and 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 I've been reacting to a lot of K pop music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm about to slowly start introducing other genres of music and react. And I know all the K-pop subscribers are going to be like, this ain't K-pop. What is this? But, right. you know, but once once I get to a certain size, I can be like, you know, you know there'll still be some K-pop here, but I'm just going to slide this <laughs> R&B in here. Yes. I'm going to slide this little drill rap in here. You know what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> so I got, I got a question. We, yeah. The next section is lessons learned. We're not going to get there. I, I, I got so many questions, but yeah. I guess the main one. So when you sought out to make this second channel, did you already have a plan of execution in mind? And to side note on that, is it just shorts? No, no, it's not. It's not a single short on that. Oh, channel. Damn. Okay. Are, they are all between like four, four, four to 10 minute videos. Yeah. All right. Uh, edit, edit it in thumbnails and, and, and all that. So what I did was I did have a plan when I decided to do this mm-hmm. I, and I made templates for everything. I made an Adobe Premiere Pro template for reaction videos. Mm-hmm. I made a Photoshop template for the thumbnails and I templated everything. So all I got to do is record it, react to it, throw it in there, make a couple cuts and, all the assets are already in there oh and, my God. you know, export it. And then with the thumbnail, all I'm doing is whatever I'm using as the artist face or anything like that. Uh-huh. I just slide the last one out, slide the new one in. All the thumbnails, like you go to the channel, all the thumbnails the same. Oh, it just, it's just got the different artists in there. Bro, that's awesome. But, but they're all, they're all the same because people, when people like, like, you know, if you if if you're scrolling and then you see someone that you recognize mm-hmm. like a, a K-pop artist, you like, you know, my face in the corner, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, don't, right? I, don't, I don't need to be all in the front. My face mm-hmm. in the corner. And they see the, the our artist they like they like, "Oh, what they what they talking about?" And they click on it. I got them. Yeah. And then yeah, once it's done. <laughs> yeah. I I I got you got to get the click. So once I get the click, then and then they see like, "Oh, this is a pretty dope dude." And now you get this, you get the subscriber, but you know, you know how YouTube is. It's still going to be people out there. Oh, you don't know how to react. Right. You ain't see this or blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You don't know what you talk like, whatever, bro. Thank you for the view. Thank you. Yeah. You know? right? <laughs> oh my God. So Man. it was funny. Cause I was reacting. I first started reacting to like, who was my, I think, I, I think I reacted to Rod Wave first. Okay. I, re- I reacted to Rod Wave. Uh, I didn't, it didn't do. It did, it did okay. It did like 400 views. Mm-hmm. And then I reacted to uh, Victoria Monet. And then that did 2,000 views. I'm like, okay, I'm getting somewhere. And then yeah. I reacted to a K pop. Something told it was like, it was under trendy. Someone just told me, click on trending in YouTube. Okay. And it was a K pop song. It was, the, it was rapping in K pop. And something was like, react to that. I was like, all right, bet. So I reacted to it. <laughs> and that bad, I woke up the next morning. That bad boy was like fifteen thousand. I'm like, hold That's on, what, what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's what, yo, that is amazing. I'm like, what third video fifteen k ain't even been twenty four hours yet? Yeah, and so I, you know, and then I tell people this all the time. YouTube consumers don't care what you want to post, right? A lot of people when, they, when they're struggling on YouTube, they're they're trying to post themselves a lot, like. 
hey, I did this. Don't nobody know who you are. So they don't mm-hmm. care. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So when that K pop went off at, you know, 15,000 views, I'm like, well, I'm about to just find the next K pop song and react to that. <laughs> and I, I got in the K pop rabbit hole and the, the subscribers was just pouring in. And they're yeah. like, oh, he reacting to K pop. His next video is K pop. So that means the next video after that probably going to be K pop. That's what they want to see. Right. So I tell people, YouTube is a job. Like you're you're providing a service to the consumer. This is true. So if if I put if I was if I was like, oh, then that K-pop did well, but I'm about to go back over here and do this R and B, then they like, okay, that was a one off. Cool, he was cool, but I'm not coming. I'm not coming back. Right. Right. I never actually thought about it like that. When you put it in that it's a service, like yeah, I'm there's yeah. a million of you. I'm not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> man so what's the name of the channel again a terrible reactions amazing i i remember when that for when that channel got i didn't realize it was two months but i remember you posted on twitter that it when this got partnered on i was like damn he just spun that thing up that's that's amazing <laughs> but holy crap like i uh i was just talking to my wife about this i struggle with like i'll hear an idea in my head and mm-hmm. then i will analyze the fuck out of it and then end up not doing it and i need yeah. to just start going with the idea. And I feel like that's what you did with this K-pop thing. You're like, you know what? I'm going to react to this. Didn't mm-hmm. think, didn't analyze it, did it and got rewarded for yeah. it. Like, Cause it was something, it was something that Kev on stage said one day uh, that just stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Kev on stage said, your job is to get the content out. Everything else that after that is not your responsibility. How the algorithm work, who clicks, who likes, who subscribe. None of that's in your power. Your your job is just to get it out. So if it's Hell sitting yeah. in your drafts, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Get it out and then let everything else happen the way it happens. That's amazing. There goes the promo for the episode. Thank you, <laughs> TG. Uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we'll make a little edit here. And uh, uh, yo, speaking of which, you've been dropping gems. The reason, okay, so the reason why I really love this podcast is because in these stories that we tell each other, there are so many things that maybe to you, you're like, this is just what I did. This is normal. But to me, I'm hearing all kinds of just like gems dropped. And I'm hoping the listeners are picking up on some of this stuff too, because it's all about having confidence, knowing what you want, having a, the point that you have a template in Adobe is a ama- I never thought about that, but it makes the, the workload so much easier. Yes, it definitely makes the workload easier. All your assets in there. So like the little thing that pop up to say subscribe, all that's sitting in there already. All I got to do is put the video in there, cut out what I don't want and export. Mm, love it. Love it. Got to get a system going. Got to get a system going. Got to be like an assembly line. Yeah, that's how this podcast has come out every week since July. I got a little system. Yep. It don't take much. Chop it up, throw it in, make an asset and you're good to go. Yep. So, well, that was my lesson learned from content creation. I'm going to go ahead and swap it over to you. <laughs> TG, what is a lesson that you have learned in content creation that you carry to this day, either in real life or you just utilize in content creation? Mm, probably more the same of, of just of just getting uh, the content out. I can't be a perfectionist at times. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to like mold over something over and over and over again. Right. So like for for an example, so I'm still I'm still trying to get into 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 TikTok and doing skits. So, OK, uh, I had brought this expensive ass mixer so I can have multiple microphones. Right. And I set up I took all like because I, I stream in my basement used to be a man cave and I took all the couches out and set up like a just a blank room with green screens where I can record skits and stuff in. Okay. And I recorded <laughs> I recorded a video about how what would it be like if if men went in to get BDLs, you know, Brazil, <laughs> a Brazilian dick lift. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, so the you know the idea the idea hit hit my head and and I and I recorded it and I was editing it and kept going over and over and I just wasn't liking the way it, it looked. Mm-hmm. And then someone just like, bro, ain't nothing else you can do. Post it. Right. You know, if it, it, it might it, it do a couple of views, but, but post it. You, you've been working on this too long. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's time, exactly. it's time to go to the next project. So I posted it on TikTok and uh, it, it did 80K. What? Yeah. Yo. Some of you were sweating <laughs> over something that you you just had to tell yourself to force out. It like did eighty k? That's the, come on, man. It did. It did. It did eighty k. And then I was like, oh shit, I might I might actually be funny. 
<laughs> and then my the the mixer started acting up, and okay. so now I don't have like audio in that room. So mm, <laughs> damn, so, yeah. So it was a it was pretty much like a one and done skit until I could figure out what's what's going on with that mixer. I had to switch back to my my old mixer, which can only do one mic, right? And you know, so but yeah, that was a, that was a good lesson learned. Just like just just get the content out there. Yes. I keep hearing it and it's sinking in. Like I, there's a few drafts that I need to just post. Yeah, I have no reason not to. <laughs> That's awesome, uh, amazing. I I felt like we've heard this before, but it's again, the more people that say it, the more true it should be in your head. Post the fucking content. Just yeah. get it up. Just you're, nat- up. you're naturally going to get better as you keep working on your next project. Exactly. So exactly. you go to anybody just. YouTube, who's been doing it for a long time, and you go look at their oldest videos, it looks nothing like how it looks now. They just right. kept putting out content and getting better over over time. Exactly. Uh, that's a, a good point, too. Especially if you have a YouTube channel, go look at your first video. Or if you mm-hmm. have some access to your first stream, go look at that thing. Yep. Just, just be oh, yeah, amazed at how far you come. <laughs> Ooh, my first stream. Ooh, oh, we shit. talk about, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't look at nobody Twitch streams. I just, man, you just went. I just went in. My audio was awful. Camera was bad. Game <laughs> audio to the max. Yeah, <laughs> nobody can hear you. <laughs> you talking? Nobody's like, hello. All right. Good thing, good thing, good thing, when nobody there because they definitely, exactly. they definitely right, they wouldn't have been able through. to hear me. All they hear is game. They're like, nah, he knew. We come back later. <laughs> right, he knew. Let me get a, let me get my ass up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, I've said this before. I feel like a lot of advice has already dropped between the conversation and stories we've had so far. But if we wanted to give a specific piece of word of advice to somebody out there, what would you say to them? And who, who are you talking to? Who's the audience? And what would you say to them? I would say I'll talk to the streamers because... All right. I feel, I feel like with TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that, I feel like the algorithm works. As long as you're putting out meaningful content, that algorithm is going to find your audience. Mm-hmm. Twitch isn't like that. So, uh-uh, uh-uh. no, 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 not, not at, at all. all, not at all. So if you're if you're coming into the game like I did and starting off with streaming, now if if I could do it all over again, I probably would do YouTube. To grow mm-hmm. the audience and then try to funnel them over to YouTube. Um, but not everybody want to be a YouTuber. So right. if you're coming in and you like you want to stream, I, I say the best way to do it is to be a part of a community. Find a find a streamer that you kind of like want to be like. Get involved in that community and enjoy your time being there, not being there because you think you're gonna get some up, get some out of it. Right. But just naturally enjoy being in that community, get to know those people, get to know those streamers. And naturally they're gonna funnel over to your channel without without you even telling them that you stream. Because when you're when you're on the when you're in the Twitch chat and talking and making jokes and, and saying some people are gonna naturally click on your name and see who is this person. Yep. And when they see your channel and be like, Oh, this person actually stream, they drop you a follow. I've gotten on on Twitch, I, I'm at about I'm at about five K followers. Mm-hmm. I'd probably say thirty five hundred of those came from while I was chatting in somebody else's stream. Damn. Are you serious? Yeah. Just just uh, en- enjoying the stream and talking, yeah. and, you know, and then I'll I'll uh, lead a lead a chat or go do something and look to see my activity feed. And I'm like, yeah, damn, I, I got a, quite a few more followers. Uh, from, from <laughs> You're not even streaming. That's yeah, I'm awesome. not even streaming. Yeah, I don't I don't I think most of my, my followers came offline. I don't think I don't think I got the many God followers damn. online. Yo, that's a flex. I don't yeah. care. That's, come on now. <laughs> I don't even gotta be streaming to get followed. What the fuck are y'all doing? I tell people all the time, I'm a better viewer than I am a streamer because I I generally do I generally enjoy being in streams. I've canceled streams so I can go to somebody else's stream. Hey, I I felt bad for doing it, but I've been there as well. Like you know what? Hold on, they doing Boston? what? Hold on, yeah. all right, stream canceled, y'all. And I yeah. tell them like I'll be over here. Yeah, <laughs> hey, this is where we at. <laughs> Back when we could host channels, like we're hosting this one, we over there now. Oh yeah, yeah, we all oh, yeah. I definitely miss hosting. Yeah, they. I mean, I feel like they said it didn't do anything, but yeah, I don't think it did anything for growth. Right, but it was nice to see who yeah. was hosting. But all right, I didn't even know this person existed. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> That's dope. Well, TG, 
I make everybody do it. And I, I think you're good at doing it because you got a template. But shout out, <laughs> shout yourself out. What are the channels? Where is the, the sites you want people to do your content? Where can they find you? All right, you can find me on YouTube at Terrible Gaming. It's it's under construction, but is is this you can you can get a whole Hollow Knight playthrough on there. Uh, mm-hmm. You can go to Terrible Reactions. That is an, an active channel. Uh, if you like uh, music and K-pop and stuff like that, go over there and follow me over there. Twitch Terrible Gaming One Two Three. Come over there. You're gonna have a great time. You come through there. I, I yes. promise you that. You're gonna mm-hmm. have a great time. You come through there, and then check me out on on uh, Twitter at Terrible Gaming Four. Tweet. Maybe about once or twice a week, but it's it's real good. I, it's it's no engagement farming. I ain't I ain't about yeah. that. And when I tweet, it's gonna be meaningful. <laughs> I love the, yes, good to know. That's a good uh, caveat for people to know with Twitter followers nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, you know, I, every time I see an engagement tweet, I'll be like, all right, I'm about to mute you. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I know what you're doing. I see you. Motherfucker. Hold on, did you see? It was uh, you know, uh, it was a streamer. Oh uh-huh. my god! It was a streamer. It was like a Monday. I'm looking for uh, streamers. I can go watch their streams, right? Yeah. Got all this engagement, and it's Thursday. Mm-hmm. Same tweet. I'm looking for stri- like. Did you go check out <laughs> the ones you just got for Monday? Like, of course not. <laughs> it was at least two thousand comments. You oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh, how cool! Go <laughs> right? <laughs> oh wait, I sent this out already. God damn. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, I'm a mute you. Yeah, <laughs> that's see, man. And like, I get it. I get it. Some people need they Twitter to be popping like that. I guess yeah. I don't I, I don't know, man. It's just, you, ain't, you ain't even got to do that. I tell people because people always ask me, like, how do you get how do you get traction on Twitter? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, just be a part of conversations. Like yeah, when I that's first it. got on, when I first because you look at my like all my accounts say 2020. My, not, my accounts are not that old. <laughs> right. right? Just jump in. You see somebody talking about something that you're interested to jump in the comments, talk to the people, you mm-hmm. know, and they do the same thing. When If you say something, they like, mm, I kind of agree with them. They're going to click your name and see your profile exactly. and drop you a follow. Exactly. I think the the biggest thing that I've learned over the couple of years of doing this is people are scared to network. Yeah. Like they're scared to start that conversation. They're scared to put themselves out there and it's going to be way harder to grow if you don't do that shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You have to get people to know who you are. Exactly. Yep. I don't know if you know. You know who Duke Dennis is? Yeah. Yeah. So I was watching an interview with Duke Dennis the other day, and they asked them. They were like, "You had to start over tomorrow. Do you think? Do you think you can make it as big as you are right now?" He said, "Yeah. Give me three months. Three. That's what I'm talking about. It was about. like three. It was like three months. It was like you." You pulling my leg? He's like, no. And then he explained how you do. He's like, yeah. He was like, anything Kyle and that do, I'm yeah. reacting to it. Smart. <laughs> Whatever Smart. AMP doing, I'm reacting to it. Whatever RDC doing, I'm reacting to it. And I'm putting it on YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. That's smart. I'm like, he he, he not wrong. He's just like, dropping knowledge for free. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not wrong. Like you have to. You have like people don't want to j- j- jump on trends because they feel like that's cheating. But True. that's how people find you, right? Even mm-hmm. if even if you're like a, a travel vlogger, right? If you're yeah. saying if if your title is, hey, we went to this local park, don't nobody care. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> don't nobody know who you are. Don't nobody care exactly. about that local park. Now if you say, Hey, check out what we did at Disney World, and people are searching Disney World and seeing yes. and then so they came for Disney World, but they come back for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. They, like, they that's came true. for the Disney World information and then got to know you in the process. I'm like, no, you're this is a pretty cool person. Let me subscribe so I can be there for their next video. Exactly. On that, like back when I was in IT and worked, I, I talked to the marketing department, my old job, mm-hmm. and they said they did this cheat code thing where, let's say, that same example, you're a travel blogger. Mm-hmm. If let's say I'm gonna say it, and I think I saw your tweet, so you know what I'm talking about. Let's say Drake does something, <laughs> <coughs> and you can somehow relate that to your niche. Mm-hmm. You do that. You make that video, and like you said, they'll see your video. You kind of talk about Drake, and like this ain't really got nothing to do with travel blogging, but you're at a nice location, and then they go click your profile, and then maybe you get a follow out of that. Yep. I'm gonna start I, doing that shit. Yeah, cause I remember when uh when SZA came up with the Kill Bill video, and I just tweeted, I was just tweeted, just you know, 
I was like, hey, this is a good ass. Good ass video, <laughs> right? Yeah, that yeah. boy had like twenty thousand likes on it, right? Because yeah. everybody was checking out that video at the time. So when people searched the scissor, they just came across my tweet mm-hmm. and was just just liking it, right? So sometimes you just have to hop on trends to try to get you know get traction. Exactly. I think, that, like you said, the thing to remember is it's not you. Oh, I'm the trend guy. No, you're getting your face out there so people can get to know you, get to know your personality. And then that's yeah. where the follows come from. Exactly. I love it. That's perfect. Yeah. I can't I can't say it better myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me uh, let me do this. I'm going to give a shout out to the podcast. If you out there are listening and you're like, damn, I learned a lot of stuff today. Share the podcast with your friends and your family and any other creators out there who might benefit from conversations like this and more uploaded and unfiltered dot com. I, I made that two two weeks ago or a week ago. It's a great website. All of the past guests are on there, their bios, their social links. But other than that, TG, thank you so much for this conversation, bro. Like, yeah, no, this is, thank you for the invite. I no problem it. at all, man. I damn. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> With that, before I have to think of other words to say, I'm gonna go ahead and end this podcast. Thank y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all. And as always, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>